So each bolt is made from a material that fails in an average shear stress of 220 megapascals. What diameter is required for the bolts if P is equal to 200 kilonewtons? And we're going to assume a factor of safety of 2 in the design. So I've started off by taking the side on view of our situation here. And each of these in here represents two bolts because in the side on view we have um, two that we can see. So I need to work out um, basically the forces on just one of these bolts. So I'm going to start by taking a cut through here. And what I should find then is I've got some shear forces acting on my bolt. So if I just redraw the free body diagram of, I'm going to take the right hand side here. And we have two bolts going through the center still. So we have the force P acting externally and through the cut we're going to have to replace it with the internal loads and we're going to have one here and one here. And because it's symmetrical what we would expect is that half of this P load would be taken by each one. So this is P on 2 and this is P on 2. And what we can see now is this bolt is definitely going to be put into shear because we've got forces pulling it one way and forces pulling it the other such that it's going to want to bend into like a, a different shape. So what I need to do is solve for the forces on the actual bolt. So I'm going to draw the free body diagram of just one of the bolts. So when I take it out, So I'm going to have a force P pulling it this way. And because I have two bolts in here, I'm going to assume that each of them takes half of the load. So on one bolt, this force would be P on two. And then similarly, we're going to have forces pulling it back the other way. But because we only have one bolt that we're looking at, we're going to need to halve these. So it's going to be P on four and P on four. Now we need to figure out the internal shear force within this bolt. So if I pick a point of interest and take a cut through it and redraw the free body diagram of just one side, I'm going to take the upper side. So here we've got the force acting externally of P on 4. And at my cut point, I need to replace it with the internal load. And this time I'm only going to have the shear force V. So for this to maintain equilibrium, we need to have V being equal to P on 4. And in fact, we're told what P is for the question. So it tells us that we've got a force of 200 kilonewtons. So V is going to be equal to 200 divided by 4, which is 50. All right, so now that we know the shear force, we need to work out what shear stress we're going to be designing for. So we're given a little bit of information around that. We're told that we have a material which fails at 220 megapascals in shear. And we're also told that we're going to use a safety factor of 2 for the design. So from this information, we should be able to work out our design stress or our allowable stress. So the equation for a safety factor is equal to the failure divided by the allowable. So rearranging this, and substituting in, so it's going to be 220 divided by 2. So that means we're designing for a stress of 110 megapascals, so T allow. So now that we know the stress, and we know the force, we should be able to calculate the cross-sectional area and then we can convert that into a diameter. So the equation that we need to use is tau is equal to V on A and we're going to rearrange this for area. So we said that the shear force is 50 kilonewtons. I'm going to put this in newtons. So it's 50,000. And the shear stress that we need to use is the allowable one, obviously not the failure one because that would be designing for failure. So this becomes 110. So 50,000 divided by 110 is 454.5. And because I use newtons and megapascals, 
This is going to come out in millimeters squared. So the final step is just converting this into a diameter. And we know that area is equal to pi on 4 multiplied by your diameter squared. Rearranging this equation. And substituting in. We find out that we need a diameter of about 24.05 millimeters, or if we round it up, it's about 25. Okay, so that's the final answer for this question, and see you in another video.